What is going down, my YouTube family? It's your boy Zary from the XNG coming at you on Friday evening to bring you a little bit of a video that I've been asked to do with some unlikely synergies for Zira and Kyra, or not Kyra, Kiri. Keep doing that. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna get into that a little bit. I'm gonna talk about the teams. You're gonna see some gameplay and things of that situation. Now this is just me spitballing, and I, I test on PVE. Um, because testing them PvP doesn't do it justice, I should say, you know, versus the test server. So, but you have to let me know what you think, see if I'm on, pa I'm on pace or on par. And, you know, as always, if you are not part of that XMG family, we are 12 people away from 1K. And I really just want to hit 1K so I can stop talking about hitting 1K. And then we can just go back to making videos. But we do have the, vi the giveaway. $50 gift card for the operating system of your choice, Apple or Android. And that will be on a live stream, like always. And what we will do is you do not have to be present at the live stream for the grand prize, but we will have other prizes to give away during the live stream, which you'll have to be present for. So make sure once that is announced, you mark that on your calendar. And for all you XMG family members out there, thank you so much for your support, your love, your I mean, I got people trying to get me subscribers everywhere, and it is truly, truly amazing. So, that is what we got going on here. Now, I do believe the tournament videos are going to be coming out, so make sure you go check out Carfinax's channel, subscribe to him, because they will be going up there. And once my fight goes up there, then I will have a video breaking down my first fight. So, that's what I got for everybody, so we're going to jump into it, and I hope you enjoy the videos. All right, so when we talk synergies, everybody, there are some, you know, synergies is how a character interacts with other characters. And part of what I have fun doing is trying to find synergies outside the common stated, you know, Soleus Nightiel. The best synergy in the game still, in my opinion, but everybody knows about it. Patriot Chi Kin Lee, Instructor Goram Adam, you know, um, Snorri Raval. And we are going to talk about Snorri and Raval, but it's with other people but everybody kind of knows about that so these are in no particular order that i think everybody should take into consideration we're gonna have to build some crazier teams when battlegrounds comes out and maybe this will help so let's jump into it now we all know the bleed mechanic it's a damage over time and the bleed synergy starts with the bleed brothers of revol number one being revol and the reason this is important is on Revol's basic ability, he inflicts bleeding for two turns. Then, here on his Eviscerate, if the target is bleeding, he recovers 75% turn meter. Awesome. Then, deals 20% more damage for each stack of bleeding on the enemies. Perfect. The second synergy in this, the Bleed Brothers, is Snorri. We all know Snorri. First move, he pops his Berserk Stance, gives him speed. Then he does his Deadly Whirlwind, where he inflicts bleeding for two turns on an AoE. The next part of this bleed team comes from Zira, and we're going to put her in the leadership. Why? She has synergy with nobody else in this for her leadership, because her leadership applies to all allied orcs. We're using it because of all this. Tenacity decrease armor decrease damage decrease and buff immunity but the bleed synergy for her really really comes into effect here starting with her third ability where she attacks for 230 physical damage and if it's shield she gets an armor decrease but if all three attacks hit the target she applies bleeding for two turns and an ability block for one turn then on her second she has an aoe vortex of pain if the target is bleeding, applies buff immunity for two turns. So buff immunity is one of the most devastating abilities in the game. So after, you know, I'm going to go through all this and then we're going to see some gameplay. We're going to jump in and, and check out the gameplay footage. The next one up is Hard Orc. Now Hard Orc is the best support character in my opinion in the game. And his basic ability, he inflicts bleeding for two turns. Now we're also going to have him on the team because he removes one debuff from four enemies. And he gives them 
cheat death regeneration and a damage increase. So that is huge. Adds to their survivability. And then he has a 70% chance for ability block on an AoE. So very debuff heavy team. And then the final member of this party is Kiri for a couple different reasons. Not only does she have a bleed synergy, she has right here, if the target is afflicted by heal block, they are affected by bleeding for two turns. Okay. Zero inflicts heal block. Then on her basic here, she can inflict bleeding if they have the heal block up. But she's also a taunter. This team is squishy. Hard orc squishy. Snorri is squishy. We need survivability for this team, and she can give it. She has the bleed, the bleed synergy with the heal, the healing immunity. She gains taunt and an armor increase. And she's recovering turn meter every time she's hit. So this is a really, really kind of just fun bleed. Let's see how much damage we can do. So let's jump into battle and we'll find out what's going on. All right, so here we go. We're jumping into battle. Now, this is just PvE, but, you know, just so you can kind of see what's going on. So the match starts, okay? Look at, look at what we got going on already. We have some tenacity, physical armor, magic armor, buff immunity. So we are just going to go straight for their defender. We're going to put on the basic. And did we get the bleed? I can't tell. There's too much. Yes, we got the bleed. So then we have the vortex of pain. So if the target is bleeding, apply buff immunity for one t for two turns. So let's go ahead and put this on Zira here. So going back here. We picked up our buff immunity for two turns. Go ahead and get the Berserker Stance going here. Now, her basic ability deals 260 physical damage, 50% chance to inflict heal blocking. If the target is inflicted by heal blocking, they should bleed for two more turns. So we have over here, we have heal block. So let's go ahead and use our basic. Boom, now we have bleeding put on, right? So who does not have bleeding? So now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna put more bleeding. We are gonna come through and put in more bleeding with Snorri. So look at all that bleed we got going on on there. Lots and lots of bleed. And see, they're going after Snorri, and they're going after Hard Orc first because of their low health pool. So we have lots of bleeds up everywhere. So now we are going to just get another bleed up there. He can do nothing. So here, third ability applies bleeding for two turns and ability block if everybody is hit. So let's go and go for this one. Might kill him, actually. Nope. See, we got more bleed and heal block. So now we're just going to go for a target with the highest health here. He can't do anything after his AoE. Now we're going to apply that taunt. And we're going to try to put on a little more bleed. Ooh, we're going to have to go for somebody else here. Right now, let's, let's put on some cheat or some ability block. Killed a couple of them. That was actually a misplay by me, too. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to see how many bleeds we could get up. We only have two on there, but 33,000. So well, imagine if I had played that right and gave him the 75% turn meter, we'd have a lot more bleeds on there. So as you can see, this is kind of an interesting and fun team, and you do have a lot of debuffs flying around. You have a lot of opportunity to get that bleed mechanic here, and it just it could really, really work. Like right here is what I should have done last time. Gave him the turn meter, he could have won again. 
it devastated people. So as you can see, just that team is super fun. It, it, it brings a lot to the table as far as bleed synergy, really ramps up the damage, and could be a really, really good offensive team. You know, especially for, you know, your your fifth team in Battlegrounds. Kiri might not be five stars. Zero might not be five stars. Hard Orc might not be, or might only be five stars, or less than seven, essentially. And, you know, then you just have the Bleed Brothers. And this little team you could put together could really throw people fits with the amount of buff immunity going on, the heal immunity. So it could really, really be a fun little team to play with. So we're going to be sticking with the Zira theme. And one little interesting thing here is on Zira's passive, Domination increases lifesteal by 25%. If Zira dodges an attack, she recovers 20% of her turn meter. And if Rantha is on the battlefield, she recovers the same buffs. So, you know, dodge is dodge and it sucks. But there's one character that really, really can give you the dodge increase, and that is Fow. With her third ability, gains a dodge increase and applies it to all allies for two turns. So this could really, really be beneficial in feeding Zira turn meter. So let's kind of go check out a battle with that. And you have Rantha as well. So again, this could be a lower end kind of mishmash squad in Battlegrounds. It could help you out. All right, so here we go. We're kind of going to jump into it. And I just have, you know, more Doom. I have Zira. I have um, Tromgar, Fow, and then Rantha. So we're going to drop down the demons here. Now we are going to give the we're going to hold off on the buff i think so when they go to attack we might have more of a chance for that on an aoe so let's drop battle poo here he can soak up a little bit of the damage till the aoe start to come i'm gonna try not to taunt there all right we're gonna put it up the dodge increase all allies we get the dodge increase 20 percent dodge increase so let's see if we can actually get her to get attacked so we can show you what i'm talking about here Okay, now here comes Zira on the attack, and you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Dodged 20% turn meter. So that would be big to help her constantly feed the turn meter, especially like if you go with an AoE heavy team. If you're fighting an AoE heavy team, that could really, really feed Zira turn meter. And the more she goes, the more devastating she is, obviously. So that could be big because here we go. Oh, she got hit, but the dodge went down. But as you can see, I mean, yes, she'll drop it faster, but Fao is a, she's a decently okay character. You know, people probably put a little bit into her, but that dodge increase is su super, super good. So that is just something to think about. Somebody you might want to plug with a Zero that you might not have developed for later on in Battlegrounds. So we talked at length about Zira. So we are going to go back to a character that we used here, and that is Kiri. Now, Kiri's got a couple of different things that I want to talk about in her move kit. Now, we already talked about how she can apply heal block if they're bleeding. The other cool thing about her is that if an enemy is slowed, she increases their turn meter to by 30% with her smashing hurricane. So there's a couple characters that have, have slow on it that I think would be fun to mess around with. And the first one here... Is General Murdoch. General Murdoch has a 70% chance to inflict slow for two turns at an AoE. So that is really, really cool. Then the other thing here is Mr. Freezard. Freezard has a 75% chance to inflict slow on his basic ability. So that is awesome. That is just really, really cool. And if they can get those around and she can come in with her AoE, we could be, you know, help out with turn meter manipulation by far that would be awesome and then we're going to put in another piece to that we're going to put in master duo he deals 250 percent of physical damage and a 50 percent chance to inflict slow if the target is afflicted by slow their turn meter is reduced by 30 percent 
So uh, there we go again. We're going to throw him in and we're going to try for this turn meter manipulation style team. And then for the fifth slot, we're going to put Yogi. Trying to find a spot for Yogi. I love Yogi. But on his basic ability, he has a 50% chance to inflict slow for two turns. He also has the Sands of Time where he can decrease cooldowns and give somebody 50% turn meter. So that is kind of the team we're going to go. We're going to sadly just put General Murdoch in the lead because that's really all we got. Now, of course, this team is super, super RNG dependent because you have to worry about getting the slows out there. So we are going to spread the slows around. And right now we aren't starting too bad. So let's get the taunt up. So she takes the damage. See if we can get more slow. All right, we're not doing too bad so far. Get a heal block on that guy. Slow. Now we're going to feed some turn meter here just so I can make sure we can kind of see what I'm looking at. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four slows up. Not terrible. So if the enemy is slowed, we should decrease their turn meter by 30%. So let's move this to one speed. Boom. Look at all that turn meter reduction. Not too shabby. Now we have Murdoch going again. Let's go for the basic here. More turn meter reduction. Very cool. And now we're going to try for the turn meter reduction on the AoE. Not bad. Perfect. Now let's try to get some more slow up here. Got slow on everybody. Let's get our taunt back up. See if we can put a little bit more slow. See if we can get some turn meter reduction. Perfect. Turn meter reduction. More turn meter reduction because his second ability can call in an ally, not just a goblin. Got more slow. Some heal block, comes an AoE. We might lose Freezard here. AoE. All right, so we got their tank on. She's going to start soaking up the damage here. See if we can get some of that slow going again. Uh, one, two, three. All right, let's see if we can put some slow over here. We're just going to attack this guy. Ah, uh, we lost Freezard. Who's going to go... Let's see if we can get some slow on this guy. No. Nah. All right, so here we go again. Now let's see for the AoE. Not bad. 30% turn meter. It's a pretty good turn meter reduction. So let's just give it to Murdoch. Let's get some more slow up there. And we're going to crank this up to three and put it on auto. But as you can see, this is just a kind of a neat little turn meter manipulation team. And I actually think that this could be used in the raid, and I haven't tested it out yet. We all know Rogi, Yogi's a great raid character. We all know Master Duo is a great raid character. But the Murdoch edition with Kiri and Freezard. Now, we are lacking some survivability in this team. But still, spreading that slow around, absolutely huge turn meter manipulation team. So that is a plus. So there it is, YouTube. There is, you know, three different teams you can think about that could possibly help you out in a lower end team in Battlegrounds. We have a turn, mini turn meter manipulation team for raids, I'm hoping. So we got a lot of good stuff going on in that area. And, you know, they involve um, Kiri and Zara. 
two really, really good characters, and one time they're on the same team together. So they do have a lot of plug-and-play viability, and I just hope you enjoyed it. So let me know down below if you have a combination with one of these characters that I missed. So that is what I got for everybody. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on notification bells, like the videos, blah, 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 blah. I love y'all. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.